this is a question uh, regarding the pancreas and it, it, the question goes can you please tell us how to heal the pancreas now there are many illnesses related to a dysfunctional or weak pancreas for example diabetes but um, something that is rarely considered is that uh, it is due to in large you know, to a large degree due to an impaired liver and gallbladder function uh, what happens very often is that when the liver bile ducts get congested and the gallbladder fills up with stones uh, there are stones and pancreatic uh, and uh, bile sludge moving into the common bile duct and from there up into the pancreatic duct and this can inhibit the uh, pancreas uh, secretion of uh, pancreatic juices or pancreatic enzymes and that uh, can lead to these pan pancreatic enzymes to build up in the pancreas in an inactivated form. Uh, typically when the pancreatic duct is open uh, pancreatic enzymes move into, uh, the, into the common bile duct uh, where the pancreatic juices or enzymes combine with bile and the bile is activating these digestive enzymes so that when uh, these two, the bile and the uh, pancreatic enzymes move into the small intestine they can begin to digest the food that you have ingested. Now when the pancreas um, or the pancreatic, bile, uh, pancreatic duct is congested with uh, stones or sludge that has come from the bile ducts of the liver or from the gallbladder then these unactivated or inactivated uh, enzymes will begin to destroy the pancreatic cells particularly pancreatic islets and this can lead to uh, the occurrence of uh, insulin deficiency and also to uh, near diabetes and uh, progressive uh, inflammation uh, of the pancreas which is called pancreatitis. So this uh, you know, destruction of the pancreas uh, can uh, be corrected or healed uh, simply by making sure that the bile ducts in the liver and the gallbladder are clean, uh, that are cleaned out uh, through a series of liver and gallbladder flushes so that in the future uh, there is no uh, you know, clogging up of the pancreatic duct which can lead to the pancreatitis or slow uh, unnoticeable or unnoticed uh, destruction of the pancreas. Uh, I definitely uh, recommend uh, liver and gallbladder flushes for any pancreas uh, problems uh, because uh, there is just not much around to help the pancreas heal. Uh, if the pancreas is congested for a long time it leads to pancreatic cancer uh, which is a little more difficult to treat uh, than uh, other kinds of cancers. The other uh, thing that with regard to the pancreas it's very important that we make changes uh, to the diet and lifestyle because uh, the diet particularly ha has a great influence on the pancreas. Uh, for example, if a person drinks a lot of alcohol, we know that this can damage the pancreas, again, via the liver. Um, the other uh, you know, issue is uh, eating a lot of sugar. A lot of kids eat a lot of sugar, um, having soft drinks, which can also destroy the pancreas. So it's important uh, to uh, consider a, a changing of the diet so that you don't create the same problem again and again. Um, not just cleaning out the liver but also making the adjustments, setting the preconditions for the pancreas to heal itself. I hope this, uh, you find this helpful and I uh, wish you a wonderful, great uh, day and uh, a wonderful night.